Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can share your USB key on your Asus router so that you can access it as a network share and as a media server. In my example, I'll be using the Asus router RTAC68U, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all Asus routers that has a USB port and also applies to other routers that have a USB port, but you need to match the instructions and the router you have to the instructions I'm gonna show you on my Asus router. So the first thing you need to do is to format the USB key in a file format that is compatible with your router. I'm going to leave a link in the description for all the supported file systems on Asus routers. I advise you to format the USB key in NTFS because it is a robust file system and it can support large files. After you prepare the USB key, insert it into your router's USB port. If your router has a USB port 3.0 and another one 2.0, prefer the 3.0 port because it is faster. Here I have inserted a USB key that has some videos and some files on it. The next step is to go to the admin page of your Asus router. So open a web browser and go to this address, asusrouter.com. And here you need to log in to your Asus router. In your Asus router admin page, Go to USB application on the left and click on server center. I'm going to start with the network share. So click on network place and here you have enable share. You need to toggle this to on and then click on OK. So now the network share is enabled. Keep allow guest login on off so that you don't have anyone logging in to the network share without a user and a password. For the device name, you can put the device name you want here. So here I've put AC68 for my router. For workgroup, leave it as it is. And for the maximum number of concurrent connections, it's better to leave it as default. So it is on 5 now. After putting the settings you want, click on Apply. And you notice here that the router will show you the USB key that is inserted in it. And by default, it gives the admin user full access to everything in the USB key. So let me show you. You need to click on the USB key so that to expand it. Click here. It will expand. So this is USB key. And these are the folders in the USB key. You have read write selected for all the folders that are in the USB key for the admin user. Now, I don't advise you to use the admin user to access the USB key. So it's better to create a user. So let's create a user. Click on the plus sign here. And here, give the user a name. I'm going to name it KST for knowledge sharing tech. And for the password, give it a strong password and confirm the password and then click on add and wait for the router to apply the settings. And you see this is the user that we just created. So click on the user to give it access to the folders under the USB key. And here expand the USB key. And you notice that by default, the router will give no access to the newly created users. So depending on what you want here, give the user access either read, write or read. I'm going to give the user access read write to all the folders and then I'm going to click on save and the settings are now saved. I'm going to still show you how you can create a folder here if you want to create a folder. So let's say that I want to create a folder. Just expand this here. And if you want to create a folder under the root folder, you just click on the plus sign here and let's name the folder anything. So test folder and then click on OK and the folder will be created under the USB key. So here it is, test folder. And by default, it gave the admin user full access to this folder. And let's see the user, what access it has to this folder. So it has no access. So let's give this user access, let's say read only to this folder. So let's click on save once again here. And now the network share is enabled. Let's enable the media server. So let's click on media server. And let's enable the media server, which is UPnP, Universal Plug and Play Media Server. Toggle this to on and you need to give the media server a name. So let's give it AS tech for knowledge sharing tech. And here it will ask you if you want to share everything media on the USB key to the media devices on your network or you want to select some folders. I'm going to keep it on all disk shared and then click on apply. So now the work on the router is finished. I'm going to show you how to access a network share from a Windows PC and how to access the media share, which is a media server from your Windows PC and from a smart TV that is a Roku TV. Let's start with the network share. So this here is my Windows PC. To access the share, you need to launch File Explorer. And in the address bar, you need to put either the IP of the router or the name that we gave the share on the router. Remember, we have put AC68. 
So let's put here AC68 backslash backslash AC68 and hit enter. So you see it connected to the router. So let me access the pictures folder, double click on it. And here you need to put the user and the password. Remember we have put KST. So this is the user and the password for KST that we put. And it's preferable to put remember my credentials so that you don't have to put them each time you wanna access a share on this USB key that is shared on the router and then click on OK. And here's the pictures folder open. So here, because we have read write on this picture folder, we can do whatever we want. Like we can create a new folder. We can delete also files. And of course we can read the file. So this is the file that is in the folder. I'm gonna demonstrate to you now the read only folder very quickly. So we created this test folder that is read only for the user KST. So we cannot create anything in it. Let's try to create a text document. And we have an error because we cannot create anything on it and we cannot write anything on it. Of course, if it had any files, we can read the files that are in this folder. So this is a network share. Let me demonstrate to you now the media server. So on your Windows PC, I'm going to show you two ways on how to access the media server. The first one is with VLC media player. And the second one was the built-in program in Windows that is films and TV. So let's open VLC media player. And in VLC media player, you need to click on view and then playlist. And under local network, you need to click on universal plug and play. And then this is the media server that we created on the router. So double click on it, double click on video and then all videos. And this is a video file that is on the USB key. I have only one video file on the USB key. So now if you double click on it, it will play. Hi everyone. So this was a procedure for VLC. Let me show you now the procedure for films and TV. It's a bit different. So for this, you need to open settings. So type Windows I on your keyboard. And in the settings, you need to go to Bluetooth and devices. And under devices, click the arrow here. And then click on add device. And you need to choose everything else. So now it will go and it will scan your network. And you see it found the media server. Click on it and then click on done and close the settings. And let's run now the program Films and TV. And under Films and TV, you need to click on Media Servers. And here it is, the Media Server. Double click on it. So let's double click on Video. And let's go to All Video. And you see this is the same video. So it should also play here. So now I'm still going to show you how to access this Media Server from your Smart TV. And I have a Roku TV. So this here is my Roku TV. I'm going to go to the Roku Media Player. If you have another type of TV, go to the media player of your TV and the instructions should be the same. And here I'm going to choose once again video. And this is my router. It appears now as a media server on the TV. So I'm going to select it. And let's go to video once again and all video. And you see this is the video that I've put on the USB key. So let's play it. And you notice that the video is playing now. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.